top three brilliant chess moves played by the youngest world championship challenger, the intellectual, the genius Kukesh Damaraju. So let's not waste time and see his brilliant chess moves. This position occurred in the Spanish team chess championship between Gukesh Damaraju and Gavin Jones. In this position, Grandmaster Gavin Jones has played bishop to f5. So Gukesh Queen is under attack but instead of moving it to safer score, he plays the brilliant queen to c3. If Jones accepts the queen, he is forced to play queen to g7 and now Gukesh is not going to take the queen. He will play knight to f7 and if you take with the rook, you will get just check made it as his g7 queen is spent. After knight to f7 check, even if you move the king, you are still going to lose ton of material. But his opponent saw this trick so he first trades the rook and then he plays h6 but this h6 allows a brilliant tactic. Queen takes bishop and after queen takes he's not going to take the queen he will play rook to e7 and after rook to e7 his opponent resigned the game. Because if you take the bishop rook to h7 is a checkmate. Even if you block with the rook it still leads to a checkmate. If you think that was amazing, then let's jump to the next brilliancy. This position occurred in the Prague Masters with the black we have GM Vincent Keimer and with the white Gukesh Dumaraju. In this position, Vincent has played queen to e7, so black is applying pressure on the queen side and white is applying pressure on the king side. And here Gukesh demolishes the black defense with the brilliant sacrifice g6. If Winston accepts the bishop, Gukesh will play rook takes f7 checking the force to e8 and now queen to e4 check and if you move the king, it will lead to a checkmate. So Winston sees the trick and plays f6 but Gukesh is very ready. h3, if knight moves, this pawn is going to fall. So here Winston plays d5. And here Gukesh calculated very precisely and sacrificed his queen to hunt the black king. Game continued with rook takes f6, king to e8 and now g7. So black just takes the queen but after bishop takes c2 and queen takes g7 and bishop to g6 check, black just resigns the game. Because either you're just going to lose your queen or get checkmated. If you think that was brilliant too, then let's jump to the last brilliancy. This position occurred in the 44th chess Olympiad between Gabriel Sergesin versus Gukesh D. In this position, Sergesin has played g takes f5 which allowed Gukesh a brilliant combination, bishop takes b4. So his idea is to play queen to g2 and then perform the checkmate on g8. So if you take the pawn this will happen. So that's why Sir Gaysian takes with the queen. So after queen to g2 he gives the check with queen to e4 and after trade and trade here he plays e7. Game continued with rook to e8 and Goke just sacrificed his both rooks and then just brings the queen in the game and in this position Sir Gaysian resigned the game. So these are the one of the brilliancies played by the Gukesh D. So if you like the video, do share the video and subscribe to the channel to show your love and support. So see you all in the next part.